This is Peg from the International Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing a new recipe, which is perhaps the easiest recipe you can possibly do, the caprese sandwich. Now, my boys have been telling me I should do this video for a while, and I thought it was unnecessary because it's a sandwich, there's nothing easier. But they reminded me that sometimes people need help with simple things too, and I think that they had had too many caprese sandwiches with what they would consider abominations like vinegar or arugula. Um, and really none of those things are necessary on a caprese. Classic caprese sandwich is the simplest thing ever. So start with your bread. You want a good crusty bread. You could use like a ciabatta bread or ciabatta roll. These I get from Costco. They work well. A baguette. Um, I'm going to use some of this nice crusty Italian loaf that I made yesterday. And you want it to be slightly toasted. You could do that in the oven or the toaster. If you have your grill lit, do it over the grill. And then you want to use the secret ingredient, which is a good quality olive oil, and you want to use plenty of it. Do not be shy. This olive oil comes from the Amalfi Coast. It's from Don Alfonso on the Amalfi Coast. But any good quality olive oil. You also would like to use a good quality mozzarella, which you're just going to slice thinly. You don't need a lot of mozzarella. This is an Italian sandwich. It doesn't need to be piled full. We're going to put just a teeny bit more olive oil on top of the mozzarella. And then you need tomato. I usually cut just the end off the tomato so it doesn't have such a high quantity of skin to pull. And again, olive oil. Italians don't tend to have condiments like we would mustard, mayonnaise. Those exist in Italy, but you don't see them as much on sandwiches. A lot of times it will just be olive oil and a healthy pinch of salt. And the last ingredient is fresh basil, which you can just tear and sprinkle over the top. I think part of why my kids like caprese sandwiches is because since there's basil on it, we all convince ourselves that that's a vegetable and it counts toward their vegetable quotient for the day. So there you go, caprese sandwich. It's just that easy. We hope that you'll make it and enjoy it and that you'll check out more of our recipes as well as all of our culinary tours and cooking vacations on our website, www.theinternationalkitchen.com.